Hello and welcome to this Lightroom quick tip. I have a very bad conscience because I promised uh, a lot of times in the last month that I will make a video about portrait retouching, about portrait editing and I had a video halfway through that my computer died and ate up a couple of things that I was working on. So even a, a couple of other videos. So uh, bear with me, it will come, especially the video about skin tones, but it will take a bit still. I hope that I will have it ready soon. Um, but this video is about a very simple trick how to make the eyes and because it's the same kind of technique in big quotes about uh, how to make the hair shine as well. And uh, I got a couple of messages after the last Selfie Sunday after my, I posted my selfie gif <laughs> and uh, especially, well, the, the comments um, were about the eyes. Why do the eyes shine so much? Well, of course, a lot of that is how to put up your lights, your flashes, whatever you work with. But of course, there's also a bit of work in Lightroom that can be done. And that is what this video is about. So uh, enough rambling. My name's Pete. I like pictures. Let's start. This is a photo of the wonderful Julia Romanova that I was fortunate enough to work with uh, not too long ago. And I shot that in my little uh, home studio. See black background, two light sources. One from, well, my perspective from the right, shot through an umbrella, and one from um, the back, shot into a reflecting umbrella to have a bit more, a bit harder light. The light through the umbrella was very soft, as you can see. And there's almost nothing done with that portrait. Um, you see, I shot with my 50 millimeter lens at f1.8 which is um, something that really gives sometimes, especially portraits, a very soft look, very glowing almost. And uh, I'm not a fan. I'm not a big fan of, of retouching photos. I, I added my photos a lot, as you might know, but I'm not a fan of retouching, so body forming and stuff like that. I don't, I rarely do that uh, or almost never do that. But I'm also a fan and you know that if you know my landscape work or the photos that I have on my blog, you might not know the phrase, but that is something that I'm really, really convinced of and that I really follow through and that I almost follow religiously. And that's the concept of the kiss of love. And that is a term um, from mostly used, I know it from visual effects work. And that is doing a bit more than has to be done. So to add that little, put that cherry on top of the cake. And that is something that we can do, especially with the, with the eyes and the hair. You see Julia's eyes. There's nothing that we really, really can do. Okay, we could, but that is a matter of the photo, not of her eyes and not um, of... Um, yeah, anything about it, we can we can just bring the blacks down a bit, so add a bit more contrast. You see what that what that already did. Um, there's one thing: if we really want to make the eyes shine, there's one tool in Lightroom that really comes in handy here: the radial filter. I will click that, and I will reset that. So double clicking any any slider will. Uh, make it jump to uh, its default. I'll check it. I'll check the invert mask box so that everything we will change will work inside of that radial fil filter. And I click and drag and I'll just drag an ellipse here. And we can adjust that to just fit the inside of Julia's eye. And just twist that a bit. So the problem, of course, here is it doesn't really fit uh, her eyelashes and stuff, but we will take care of that 
uh, soon. So what we, what I want to do, and you see these little veins in her eyes, like everyone has them. I don't, it's nothing that bothers me, but you will see they will disappear or almost disappear with that technique as well. So what I want to do is to brighten her uh, the, the white in her eyes a bit and we can do that of course by just raising the highlights see and the the veins are almost gone we can of course also add a tiny little bit by changing the white balance in the eye nudging it, it a bit to the left so adding a bit of blue not too much and that already does a lot. We can click on done, zoom out, and you see, boom, the eyes shine, already shine. So that is a great way to do that, but we can do more. I'll activate that again. And maybe we can bring up the exposure a tad and add a tad of clarity. So very very simple it doesn't really influence anything here but we can with the brush here click on the brush click on erase and you see that little minus sign inside of the brush with the mouse wheel we can make the brush smaller and just erase these parts so that everything will only you see that if we click show or hide the mask of the selected pin and we can really erase all of these parts that shouldn't be affected by our filter, by our radi radial filter. And of course we can do one more thing. We can click on new, make a new ellipse, click and drag. By holding down the shift key, by the way, we can draw a perfect circle and align it to only the iris. Also check that invert mask is checked and increase the clarity in here, maybe the contrast a bit and maybe raise the exposure a bit. And of course we can also use the brush tool here. Click on erase or hold down the alt key by the way or just click the alt key, uh, tap the alt key and erase that part here in the eyelashes click on done zooming out boom the eye shines now we want to do the same thing with the left eye or her right eye we could do the same but it's easier i'm gonna zoom in i'll ch um, i'll choose the radial filter once again and i'll just activate the big one here right duplicate the filter and we can just drag it over here so mm, okay okay we could how can we do that holding the space bar will change our mouse cursor to a hand and we can just click and drag and then we can drag that over here holding the space bar again click and drag and just drag that over here to the other eye we can adjust that and click on done, zoom out. Yeah, looks good. Maybe a bit too bright because the the left eye or actually her right eye is a bit in the shadow. So we can bring the highlights down a tad so that it fits. And we can do the same thing, of course, with the iris. So duplicate and just holding the space bar and drag that over here zoom out and the eyes shine i overdid that a bit for that example but you can change or you should change that accordingly to your photo of course and we can do same thing applies here with the hair i'll use the adjustment brush i'll just punch up the clarity to 100% and just paint in the hair. The cl clarity, the clarity filter is a wonderful tool to make hair really shine. And of course, this is way too much. 
but we can also bring the shadows up a bit so you can really change the volume almost here right and i'll bring down the clarity double click it bring down the shadows so bring the shadows up a bit bring the clarity up a tad and bring the exposure down and it's kind of the same technique that we used for the eyes so the eyes shine now and well there are of course you can use um that's also something you can use for especially when working on female portraits you can use the uh, the clarity with the adjustment brush to by holding down the alt key by the way you change the brush to um, uh, erase and you can paint in here zooming out so to really paint and accentuate the eyelashes and i overdid that here so i'm gonna undo that here holding down the alt key i'm gonna remove that and of course we can bring that down again so adapt that to our liking so that's one way to do that works for me very well I hope this helped a bit and I hope that you will now make your eyes shine. If you liked that video, please send me a thumbs up on YouTube or even comment on that video or share it in any kind of social network that you have access to. And of course, you can always subscribe to that channel. Um, yeah, that's it. Bye bye. Till next time.